Now we need to ask the user for a number. For so the first thing that we do is create a variable called number. We use int for an integer, input to ask the question, and we ask them to enter a number. Then it says display the times table of that number from 1 to 5 in the following format. So the first thing that we do is create a for loop. So for x in range, and the range is going to be 1 to 6. Now, because the last number does not count. So instead of 1 to 5, we put 1 to 6, just so we can loop up to 5 and include in 5. Then we put a colon and press enter. So it says display the times table of that number in the format in the right side. So one, so it puts one and then the asterisk and then um, 10, which is the number that the user entered and then equal sign and then 10. So firstly, we need to find the answer. So we need to create a variable called answer and we need to multiply number by X. This will give us the answer to that multiplication. So one times 10, two times 10 and so on. This will give us the answer. Then we can print it on the screen. So firstly, we need to find one, two, three, four, and five. Where is that? Where are all these numbers coming from? So these are comes from the counter, which is X. So the first thing that we do is we put X, then we separate it with a comma. Then we need to put the asterisk, which is the star sign. Now the asterisk is just gonna be a string because this is a string, it's going to be in quotation mark. So we put the quotation mark, put the asterisk in, then we put a comma. After that, we need to put the 10. So where is that 10 coming from? So that was the number that the user entered, which was stored in number. Then I put another comma. Then we have the equal sign. So again, this equal sign is a string, so we need it in quotation mark. We can't just put it alone. Then we need another comma. Then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That was the answer of the multiplication of the two numbers, which is currently stored in answer. Then we need to close the bracket, well, the brackets, which is the parentheses. And then when we run it, so if I for let's say seven, will give me the timetable of seven in this format which looks a lot better than just the, the answers.